Max Payne Part 1 Max Payne has nothing to live for so he kills himself in the first five minutes all right here we go just kidding ha, ha, ha. you really thought I was gonna play Max Payne stupid ass yeah leave a comment if I got your ass don't lie I fucking got you I almost feel bad for you but it's all right we we accept people of all shape sizes IQ, um, we just don't accept people over 100 pounds, you gotta fucking leave. I don't know what got into me in the last five seconds, but, but I am ready for some Crash Bandicoot. Have I been clipping the audio artist fuck this whole time? I promise I'm not lit or nothing like that. I promise. I'm not lit nothing like that, man. I ain't lit nothing like that. I got some cream of wheat. If you have not had cream of wheat, I highly recommend it. I'm not even gonna take a bite. Dude, what what save what save was I doing? Was I doing Crash B? Who the fuck is Crash B? I'm gonna say that's that's the one we were doing. I guess we'll find out. I feel like a fool either way. Feel like a goddamn fool. You're out of your goddamn mind. All right. Um. Shit. 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 All right. I don't know. Oh. 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 I feel toxic masculinity flowing through my veins. You know, some people like they wake up and they stretch, get the blood flowing, and things like that. I like to wake up and think about how I'm so much better than every single woman in the morning. That gets me going. See, this is what happens when you have toxic masculinity flowing through your veins. Unstoppable. Alright, time for the important stuff. So listen. Cream of wheat. If you've not had it, the the normal one is good. Normal cream of wheat. There's different flavors, like there's a like brown sugar one. That's fire. I'm having some of that right now. Um, I didn't really follow the instructions very well. So, I'm eating it, I'm like, something tastes a little, a little off. What the hell? What the actual shit? No! Okay, that could have been real bad real fast. Look at that. Look at that. Clipping the audio hard as fuck, but that's okay. Yeah, this track bangs, even though I got it at, like, one volume. 1% volume. I thought I could freaking kick that dude in the nuts, but apparently I can't. Whoa, 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 whoa. They really wanted me to utilize the the old underground trick. And I really didn't want to. I didn't want to, but they, they made me do it. Can we get some cream of wheat in the chat? Drop some cream. Just drop cream of wheat. I don't want to see other any other comment. If you typed a comment, delete it. I might even go through and delete them. If if you don't, if it doesn't say cream of wheat, your fucking your whole account's getting blocked. You can have you can write any comment, but it's got to be cream of wheat related. So you got to have at least the words cream of wheat in your comment or I'm literally going to delete it. So choose your words very carefully. Don't make me angry. <laughs> okay? It's got to have cream of wheat. It's got to uh, no cream of wheat hate. I don't, you know, if you, you can, you got to have cream of wheat and if you say anything negative about cream of wheat, 
Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Can we get a shout out to water as well? Can we get a shout out to the fact that I didn't go underground when I spun that time? Can we get a, a shout out to Stuart Copeland, even though he had nothing to do with the soundtrack? As far as I know. <laughs> That's Josh Mansell, but let's get a shout out to Stewie. Can we also get a shout out to S Stuart Griffin? Can we get a shout out to the fact that I didn't have to do some crazy, stupid shit in that level? Though, the keen, the keen eye would notice that we missed something. What did we miss? Yeah. If you didn't see it, you're gonna feel like a real fool. So we're actually going to go straight back into that level once we're done with this epic dance move. Crash Bandicoot! What the fuck do you want now? Crash, I have discovered that the opposition is being masterminded by Dr. Nitrous Real. Okay. I thought he said, uh, that he said, uh, something about titties. <laughs> What if he said, Crash, I just found out about Crash Nitro Kart. What the hell? Oh yeah, check this out. Oh my! Oh my god! I was gonna say I'm not a fan of these little... The, I'm not a fan of these at all. I hate these. I got lucky the first time. There we go. I don't know why I just did that. Going through it like I gotta get all the boxes, and I don't. Don't you hate that? When you go through a level flawlessly, and then you try and do it again, and you can't do it. Oh my god! Damn, i never seen that one before. A little indent. Got one of those in my freaking head. <laughs> Why is NBA Youngboy got dents in his head? Whoa! <laughs> this is pissing me off. I thought I had like 9 lives earlier, now I have like 38. This shit's pissing me the fuck off. Oh! Okay. Yeah, epic. I think my, my, uh... Shit. Shit. Alright. I think my biggest tip for if you're going to play Crash Bandicoot, no matter how you're playing it, 100%, not 100%, whatever. And Crash Bandicoot 1, you really need to be patient. Be Take things as slow as possible. T however long it takes, just let it be. Just let it happen. Crash Bandicoot 2 and 3, a lot of the time, you'll try and take it uh, slow, but what you need to do is take it really fast. And I seem to always run into that where I'm like... Trying to do things calculated and smart and it doesn't pay off. Can I just die and leave this level or is there something else in here? Well now I gotta know. Now I feel like I gotta play it out just to see if there's something at the end. At the end of the rainbow. This is gonna be really infuriating really fast. Damn. This is not gonna go well. Alright, it's cool. I got all day. I, I literally have all day. We could be playing this all night. If that's what it takes. I lose lives, but I make it back. I keep it real. There ain't no motherfucking faking that. Alright. I literally got distracted. I was like, just freaking grooving. And I was like, I need to play the game. I'm trying to cheat the system. See, I'm, I'm cheat. I'm breaking the game. For a second there, I actually thought I broke the game. I'm like, oh my god, I really, I broke it. I did it. I really did it. <gasps> okay, look at that. Yeah, pretty much the greatest of all time. What can I say? Oh shoot! That's not at all what I wanted to happen. Fuck you. No, I don't want. Your freaking car insurance. You guys get just bombarded with car insurance uh, emails just constantly. I 
phone's always going off. I'm thinking like, oh, damn, I bet there's some fly ladies hitting my line. You know what I'm saying? Turns out it's just car insurance emails. What the actual... Oh, my God. Did I not just jump off of that the last, like, three times? The, like, first three times that I did it, I just jumped past it? Now, all of a sudden, it just doesn't work? I'm going to be so furious. I... I... I don't want to, obviously I don't know for 100% certain, but I just don't want to not do the bonus round or whatever, get past this and then find out that there was something I needed to do and then have to do the whole thing over again. What the hell? I see now, the, like the last two times I was like, oh, okay, well now at least I, I know that I'm supposed to be doing something else. I'm, there's something else going on there. I'm going to get past this. Stupid shit. Um, there we go. Okay. This is honestly like the most baffling thing. I almost wanted to say in all of Crash Bandicoot, but that would be why Crash Bandicoot 4 sucks so much ass. Now see, I look like a real gosh dang idiot because I was talking about running through things like a minute ago and now here we are. You have to really think. Did that guy give up or what? Oh, okay. Here we go. Damn it. Damn it. Part two. You get an extra mask, which will help a lot, but that's about as far as they're gonna help me out. What's even the point if there's only two of those rats there? Like why? Why? I find it hard to find an actual challenge. Except for the fact that I've been mentally challenged. <laughs> and it's hard to keep balance. I think what's so infuriating about Crash Bandicoot as well is that sometimes you'll, you'll see the mistake as soon as you're making it, like, the second that you, you did it, it's already, like, too late. It's like, uh-oh. I don't even know if I said that right. So, was there a point to that at all? There was really no point to that at all. They didn't even, like, send me- oh my god. They didn't even send me further down the road. I thought the the best, uh, the, the least they could do was take me to the end of the level so I didn't have to do all this again. This, I, was, I talked about this, I remember for sure, in uh, Spyro. Even in Spyro 1, what they did was that they made it so you, you weren't like, you could never get stuck. They were never screwing you too hard. But here, no, 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 no. Like, they made it so that there wasn't any gems that you, you know, couldn't go back and grab. The level's always, like, looped around and stuff like that. You can go back in. Naughty Dog, was, I always thought, too, was really smart with game design. They're, they really are. That's, that's undebatable. But... But still, that was just stupid. That's the first time in, in the series... That I remembered something being so blatantly stupid. Like, I get when they do stuff for, for a challenge. That's fine. That just seems so dumb. Because you can cheat the system as long as you know that that's there. Hopefully I never make that mistake again. I'll definitely be playing this game again. And actually, I'll probably still make that mistake when I play the remaster. Just because I'm going to be like, okay. It's two things. And uh, I was thinking about this yesterday too. Because I try to always give things in general the benefit of the doubt and I'm gonna still probably give it the benefit of the doubt that even if I remember that there was nothing there in this version I'm gonna be like well shoot but I'm gonna be like oh you know maybe in this version they, they put something there so it's actually worth a damn actually no what could they even put there they couldn't put a box there that would change the level fundamentally I mean, it is cool now I know if I can remember for next time that I can beat the whole level in one run because they put you back. But that's not reason to to do that. Because most people, too, they're going to get to this level and be like, oh, well, I'm not going to jump on the nitro boxes here. They're not going to assume that that's something you need to do or that you'd want to do. They teach you throughout the whole game not to do that. I gotta take a shit. I guess you could say that level... I guess you could really say that up, that level annoyed the shit out of me. Ha! Ha! <laughs> guess you could really say that level annoyed the shit out of me. Yeah. 
it. Shut up. We're actually not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. Yes. Did I mention that we're actually not doing too bad? This boss fight sucks ass. Like Dr. I had the hardest time on the mastered bitch G. Trying to beat this freaking dickhead. Excuse me. I think it's it's neat. It's a neat boss fight. But hey, beyond that, fuck this one. And it just takes a long time. Have I mentioned how I don't like when things are tedious as fuck and take a long time? And if you mess up one thing, then you have to do the whole thing over again? Yeah, that sucks. Great. And I can't, uh, I can't even dash. I can't even do the dash move. I always think about that, uh, Uzi track. It's like, run that ass, back that ass up, do the, do the dash, run and get the cash. <laughs> <laughs> I like any track that like the artist or whatever says something that's like kind of ridiculous but they say it with so much fuck you welcome to the engine boss fight this is exactly why I don't play as him in, in freaking team racing this is, this is why I fucking hate this dude I remember uh, in case I never play uh, Wrath of Cortex I remember I um Gives you the middle finger right here. I was playing uh, the boss fight where you are like Coco or whatever in the, in the plane. God, save our soul! I'm mad, but I'm not stressing. Fuck. But yeah, I remember. Uh, how can I dodge that one so easy? And then the second one. Always gives me a hard time. But yeah, I remember I was doing that like plane level or whatever, and uh, I actually my eye started like twitching really hard. I was like, dude, this this game's gonna freaking give me a brain aneurysm or something. Please, I don't want to go through with this shit. There we go. Hopefully that's the worst of it, because this boss fight, I swear to god, I hate this boss fight. Shit! This is... Oh man, this is not going well. I'm not enjoying... I'm not having fun right now. I'm not having fun with Crash Bandicoot today. Or ever. Ha. I'm, I'm really not one of those people that likes tormenting myself. <sighs> Crash Bandicoot walks that line of, of being fun and also being just infuriating. It's one of those where it's like, when you know you can do it, it makes it a lot more fun. But, damn if it can't be a pain in the ass. And that's why it's fun to have like a friend too, you can switch off because there are parts that are just so freaking annoying, you're like, I need to just get away from this right now. Like this, if I could... Give the controller to anyone else so they can play the shit boss fight. I really would. I really wish he said something there. Just because I like it, it is his voice or whatever. Oh shit. What, what? I forget what happens here. What happens here? Okay. More than anything, fuck Crash Bandicoot 4. This game sucks ass. I've had enough of all of this, you know, twisty time traveling, you know, all that. Just. Like, why was it that, yeah, like, Crash Bandicoot 3 is the most popular one, so now every single time we talk about Crash Bandicoot, he has to be time traveling and aliens and mutant creatures. Like, I forgot that that's what, you know, Crash Bandicoot's been you know, throughout the entire uh, original trilogy. That's what everyone loved. It's like, no. There's so many other Crash Bandicoot things. And like, even still, I'm disappointed that... Shit. Oh! 
I feel like Twin Sanity didn't get enough uh, representation when it came to uh, team the new team racing game. They're showing love to like some of the other games, but I feel like you know. The wrath of Vortex, haha. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I just I don't know. I get that they put some other characters from like the other racing games and stuff in there, but oh great. What does he gotta say now? Uh, what is your problem, Bandicoot? I don't know.